Hi, my name is Gene Arnold, Senior Sales Engineer for TIPCO Jaspersoft. During today's presentation, I'd like to give you an introduction on our new JavaScript API called Visualize.js. Here you'll see a list of the different items that will be discussed on today's presentation. First, I'll give you a list of the different APIs available to you when using, embedding, and communicating with the Jasper Report server. I'll also give you a small high-level functionality comparison of these various APIs. I'd like to cover why this new JavaScript API called Visualize.js is so important. I have an example of how you would create a small JavaScript code snippet to embed a report using the new API. I also have a few screenshots of reports that have been embedded within a web page with the Visualize.js API. And finally, I'd like to show you where you can get some more information about Visualize.js. There are three different APIs that are available to you when working with the Jasper Report server. They would be the REST API, the HTTP API, and our new JavaScript API. First on our list is the REST API. This API is a web service based API. It offers control into the Jasper Report server, and it's great for things like integration with other systems, administrative purposes, and production reporting. Though this API really doesn't give you access into the ad hoc and dashboard areas of Jasper Report server. Next on our list is the HTTP API. This API allows you to embed Jasper Report server using iframes. It's very simple and fast to use. And it's also more focused around the UI of Jasper Report Server and less around administrative purposes of Jasper Report Server. Last on our list is our new JavaScript API called Visualize.js. This is the latest API offered by Jaspersoft. And it's currently more focused around a report presentation and giving you access into the repository of Jasper Report Server. You'll find that this is going to be the primary tool used by Jaspersoft for report UI interaction. Though currently it is limited to rendering reports and gathering report access, you'll see this will quickly change and you'll find more and more functionality soon with the Visualize.js library. Now, this is important to note. This API is not a standalone charting or reporting library, as is any of our APIs that we offer. All of our APIs speak directly to Jasper Report Server and need Jasper Report Server to render reports out with inside of your application. So why this new JavaScript API? First off, JavaScript has become very popular within the web development world. Also, client-side interaction within the UI has become the norm nowadays. Developers are also looking for more control over their BI and reporting solutions. We also felt that to reach the next level of embedding, a more powerful tool was needed. And also JavaScript provides a great way to interact with mobile solutions. What I'll be doing now is showing you how to actually use Visualize.js. I'll be using the API to pull back a report from Jasper Report Server and embedding that report with inside of a web page. This example will be very high level. We have a number of videos following this one that get into great detail on how to use the Jasper Report Server API, Visualize.js. For this example, I'll be using JS Fiddle to demonstrate how to embed a report using Visualize.js. The first thing required is to actually embed the API with inside of your web page. And I'm doing that right here with a script tag, calling into Jasper Report Server and asking for the Visualize.js library. For this example, what I'll be doing is I'll be grabbing a div tag, ID called container, and injecting a report with inside of this div tag, again using Visualize.js. The code to do that is really quite simple, and I'll paste that here below in the JavaScript area of JS Fiddle. Again, all of this is in more detail on further videos, but the first thing I'll do is I will authenticate to the Jasper Report server. Further down the code, I'll actually go and call for that particular report that I'm looking for. 
I'm passing in the div tag that I'd like to render the report in. And I'm also passing a parameter in this example to show me results focused on a particular product ID. Let's run this example and see how it works. As you can see, using visualize.js, I'm able to make a JavaScript call into Jasper Report Server and pull back a report, rendering that into a page using JavaScript. As I mentioned on the previous slide, that was a very simple example of just calling one report using the visualize.js API. On this screen, you can see a number of really cool examples. Examples where you're able to embed multiple reports on one page, You'll also have the ability to use hyperlinks to drill down and access other reports based on different items that you can click on within a particular report you're viewing. And also completely interact with your reports using different areas of the web page that you've created so you can build your own UIs and interact with Jasper reports using the visualize.js API. Really, it's unlimited on what you can do with this API and it allows you to be very creative and gives you access to all kinds of areas of the reporting tool, all via JavaScript. To learn more about visualize.js, please go to http colon backslash backslash community dot jaspersoft.com backslash visualize. You'll find more videos and documentation about this topic there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Gene Arnold and thank you very much for your time.